Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So from today, I am going to start a one more concept that is a discrete mathematics. So which is a very, very important for all the computer science students. So So for some universities, this name will be calling it as a DMS, that is a discrete mathematical structures or MC, MFCS, Mathematical Foundation for Computer Science. So, the name itself indicates it completely deals with the mathematical concepts. So, the mathematics is the foundation for any computer science students. So, without the mathematics, there is no computer science. Because for every problem solving, it requires some mathematical concepts. So, this particular discrete mathematics will be useful in a problem solving approaches. So, usually if you are going with the competitive coding, the questions will be in the form of the case studies. So, the, the scene will be narrated and from that scene, we are supposed to formulate the solution. And in such cases, this discrete mathematics concepts will be used for the problem solving approaches and so coming to the introduction part of this uh, discrete mathematics so we'll see what is a discrete so we know mathematics it's a completely full of problems right so now what is a discrete so this mathematics is divided into two ways one is discrete another one is a continuous continuous so discrete here we'll be using some objects discrete objects or discrete variables we'll be calling them as a discrete objects or discrete variables and here we'll be calling it as a continuous objects or a continuous variables right so what is this discrete and continuous both are mathematics both are related to the mathematics so if you observe the graph for example So this is an example for a discrete because there will be a gap between the countables, right? The objects. For example, if you consider these uh, dots as a objects, there will be a dot. I mean, there will be a gap between one object and another object. And observe here. So there is no gap. This is a continuous. So this discrete variables or discrete objects are an objects which are countable which are countable, right? So which we can count, right? And these are not countable, but the continuous objects or continuous variables are measured. So instead of countable, these are being measured. So one more difference. So these will be having the finite numbers. Okay, finite. These are some finite. And this is an infinite. That means there will be a range of values. Among these range of values, we'll be selecting the one, right? And the example, we can say the whole numbers. The whole numbers comes as an example for this discrete. There will be no decimal values. But here, the example will be the real numbers. Real numbers. Okay, so which will be having some fractions. So example for this discrete, Example for this discrete, so number of pages in a book, consider any textbook, okay, consider any textbook, so we can count the number of pages in that particular textbook, that's a counted, right, but coming to continuous, so we can go with the age of a person. Age of a person can't be counted. Instead of it can be measured, right? So it will be uh, some 30 years, okay, um, four months and uh, two weeks, three days, 
4 hours 20 minutes 30 seconds see we can calculate or we can measure the age in this way okay a person age can be measured not counted so we can that which will be saying that what is the age of a person we can we can say it as a 30 years but if you go with the reality there's a 30 years four months two weeks three days four hours 20 minutes and 13 seconds so in this way the age will be measured so this is a continuous process this is a continuous process but here the number of pages in a book either it can be 500 pages or it can be 200 pages or it can be 10 pages or 15 pages so these type of things we will call it as a discrete so that's why these objects we will be calling as distinct objects or separate objects distinct values or separate values so these are continuous and these are non-continuous okay so we can count we can count these discrete. So such type of things we will be using is called as a discrete mathematics. Discrete mathematics. Okay. Such type of mathematical problem solving approaches will come under this discrete. Hope you understood the example, the exact difference between the discrete and the continuous. Right. So we will be learning all these things. How we, the discrete mathematics can be useful for uh, any computer science students right so when uh, we are going to use these discrete mathematics for csc students so you can use you can study the number theory number theory so where uh, which can be used in a cryptography and network security right so there will be algorithms prime numbers uh, uh, euler's theorem so there will be a lot of theorems will be there right so number theory and uh, as I said that uh, in cryptography, we can use this uh, discrete mathematics, cryptography. And some concepts of uh, DBMS also will be using this uh, discrete mathematics. And uh, computer networks, computer networks, right? So while, while studying about uh, routing algorithms and all these things, some sort of uh, discrete mathematics will be used here. And similarly, a lot of subjects in, in, in computer science and engineering, any subject will be using this discrete mathematics. So this will be the mathematical foundation for all the computer science uh, students and also allied branches, right? And what are the concepts we are going to study in this discrete mathematics? So we will go, we are going to study the mathematical logics, a simple logics. So instead of uh, going with an expressions, in this mathematical logics, we are going to study the proposition, that statements. So what we have just said that in a competitive coding, the problem statements statements will be the case studies. So from that case study, we have to understand the statements and we have to formulate the solution. And such statements we will be using in this mathematical logic. That means we are going to learn in this mathematical logic. So those statements, we are calling them as a propositions propositions, predicate calculus, and all these things comes under the mathematical logic. <coughs> and the next one is a set theory. Set theory. So set theory, so collection of elements, set operations like, like union operation, intersection operation. Okay. So all these comes under the set theory. So avoiding the duplicates. So these kind of things we'll be using the, in this set theory. And the next one, graph theory. Graph theory. So there are different kinds of graphs, right? A pictorial representation. So this is a structure, okay? So the structure which, where we are using these discrete mathematics are called as a discrete mathematical structures. We can all also call them as a discrete mathematical structures. So graph theory. So in the graph, we are going to see what are the different graphs, what are different kinds of graphs, uh, graph traversals, as well as uh, trees and also tree traversals. So all these things we'll be learning in this graph theory. And then,
permutations and combinations we are also going to learn the permutations and combinations mainly in order to solve uh, uh, any kind of problem with the help of uh, some brute force approach so brute force approach means checking all the possibilities so some sort of problems can be solved by using this brute force approach so for that case so we need to calculate all the combinations right so in such case we are going to use this permutations and combinations right so this also comes under the discrete mathematics and the next one is recurrence relations recurrence relations so this is an advanced counting uh, uh, process so this recurrence recurrence relations will also be comes under the discrete mathematics so all these concepts will be used in our computer science and engineering subjects okay so whatever the subject you are learning in computer science every subject will be having either directly or indirectly the usage of these concepts okay so these are the different structures which follows the discrete mathematics so that's why we can call them as a discrete mathematical structures so the subject will be calling it as either discrete mathematics or discrete mathematical structures or mathematical foundation for computer science so it depends depends upon the different universities the name will be different but the concepts are same right so th this is the difference why we are calling it as a discrete mathematics so hope you understand the importance of uh, discrete mathematics and what exactly the discrete mathematic mathematics how it differs from a normal mathematics right so these are completely mathematical uh, approach and these are the different concepts we are going to learn in our next uh, further sessions and uh, in all different subjects we are going to use this discrete mathematics so let's stop here and uh, we all we need is your continuous support for our channel so if you really uh, understood and enjoy my sessions like my sessions and share our channel with your friends and uh, improve our subscribers count and support our channel and support this particular course in our channel recommend this course our uh, course uh, from our channel to your uh, near and dear neighbors and let them subscribe and yes so don't forget to subscribe to our channel keep enjoying thank you very much